Hello everyone, welcome to Adisag Gaming Time. Today we've got some gaming news to talk about, we have, and also at the end of this we're going to talk some Kingdom Hearts stuff related. Okay, here's the intro. So the new community calendar for the events of February got released the other day and even though I'm very late to it I will just want to talk about what's happening for the next update which is going to be the chosen one with Anakin Skywalker and other skins and that's going to be coming to us on February 27th it will be. The one thing that was missing from the update uh, listing was that the new game modes. Now from what I have basically heard, future community transmissions are hopefully going to address this but if it is being delayed then it should be for a good reason. Now I don't see this being good in any way if they're just delaying it maybe to release in March or do they need more time or or do they need to redo it because if you're going to redo it now you might as well not give us the mode anyway because what would be the point of it but in any way shape or form it is a shame that there could be a possibility of a delay but I still hope it does come in the future because this is one of the things that was supposed to change Battlefront 2 because this month has been going on to be like one of the largest months of an update for this year to an average update I would say not big, not small, but in the middle now um, apart from that the only other news I can officially report on is that Shinies are going to be coming to the game as a default appearance. Now I'm assuming that these are clone type of skins that will be coming. At, that was mentioned some time ago but I just thought I might as well put it here. Just thought I should let you know that the Batman Arkham Crisis leak is fake. Okay? I bet we're going to go through two more of these but I still do hope that we get some sort of a refill in May. So Kingdom Hearts 3. Now recently I've just played all the other games I have. I'm gonna may or may not revisit some of them again later along the line to actually complete some of them. But for Kingdom Hearts 3, we're gonna be talking about the possibility of DLC. Now there is a possibility, but the team is basically on holiday at this moment and because of that they haven't really formed any plans but if they were going to do some if it was paid DLC it would be like large field DLC which I can only imagine being playable characters uh, new worlds to explore maybe even side quests if that's going a bit too far and also story type of missions honestly I would not mind it just Base it after Kingdom Hearts 3. Don't mess with that Square Enix, please. Just don't. We want Sword to be alive for crying out loud. And they've also said that they are, if they were going to do DLC, it would also be a smaller free DLC that they would do the same time as bigger. Sounds like something like another game of like Assassin Creed Odyssey, because apparently. They do paid DLC, but then they also do free update DLC. Overall, that sounds cool. Do I think it's a possibility? Yes, but for now, we're just going to have to see what happens, because this could be the only word that we get for a while. New Battle Royale free-to-play game from EA and Wii Sport Entertainment has been released prior to a couple of days ago on Monday, called Apex Legends. This is a battle royale game that's different to a lot of other ones and it does have a training mode and the main game of it all. It looks similar to Fortnite but really it changes a lot of things and there's a lot of, let's say, the characters look good in this game. So I just thought I should let you know about that and also I should let you know that uh, Respawn has said that Titanfall Free is not currently in development, but then also I've also heard that there are other Titanfall stuff that is set to come out within this year. So hopefully, maybe don't lose all hope. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. If you had an update today, that update may have had other things, but 
Mainly, that update was basically telling you that they have announced some new DLC content for the fourth one, and that is the price of survival. Now, we know that the, there's going to be new uh, suits coming through, including some other stuff, but apart from that, I don't really know too much about it. It looks like it has something to do with survival, but what I hope that they do is something that they do with the Nightmare, where they split it up. They had something that was a story base with Lara Croft at the start. Now at the end they have the challenge to him because honestly if they keep on doing that I'm all good for all of this because Nightmare so far has been my favourite. Now Kingdom Hearts. Now I am planning on putting out a theory video about Sora being dead or alive on my main channel but I should just talk about it literally here. What do I think of... Um, if Saw was alive or not. I do feel like he's alive, but he could also not be alive. It's one of those weird answers it is. I do feel like Kingdom Hearts will continue. I do. And I just hope that they continue with Sora, but then also in Kingdom Hearts 3 and Silver Point 2, I love the throw of the other characters. Playing as Wiku is so good, it's so much better here, and Aqua just amazing. Aqua so far and Wiku, they're both powerful. I enjoy playing as those people more than Sora himself because both of those people were so goddamn enjoyable. It was a shame that Woxus wasn't really there until the end. I wanted him to be there maybe at the beginning, but. I don't know, maybe future Kingdom Hearts games could give us a choice of playing as Woxes and then maybe one day furnitures. Uh, the possibilities are endless now considering that they've brought all these characters back. But overall, if they are going to end Sora's story one day, end it off with a happy note. Because so far, Sora has only had one thing of a happy ending in these games and that is Kingdom Hearts 2. So, um... Let's see what happens in the future anyway. Anyway guys, I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And I guess have a fantastic weekend. Peace.